Hi all folks, this is Max from HT... No, sorry about that. Uh, hi all folks, this is Max from 1xroot.com. So, um, before you begin going installing flashing ROMs, um, let's go back up your apps and also let's go back up um, your SMS text messages. So go to the uh, Play Store and download SMS Backup and Restore. There's a bunch of different apps. Uh, I'm just going to use a random one. There's also one that uh, backs up to your Gmail under a label. Um, that one can be really cool um, if you can back it up online so you have a copy online. Uh, what I do is I use um, I use Google Voice um, and also I've got my if you've got your number ported to uh, Google Voice um, basically all you, all my text messages are uh, stored in Google Voice so I don't have to bother with it but I'm going to just show it to you for those of you who don't use uh, Google Voice. Um, you can use SMS, uh, this one, by Ritesh Sahu. I think that's, um, is that Indian? Not sure. Um, anyway, so let's go open it up. And, uh, okay. And this will back it up as an XML uh, file in your SD card or internal storage. You should be able to easily find it. Um, we'll, we'll look into that after we back it up. So let me back up. So there you go. That's the name of the. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. But, but I only actually have one message because I use Google Voice. Um, I actually have the spam mail. I'll show you. It's funny. Um, so I've got a spam email uh, from this number. Anyway, that I backed up my spam email and uh, um, let's go to uh, go download Titanium Backup. Go, uh, go search tit and you'll see titanium backup <laughs> show up here and uh, you can you can get the free version and the license uh, it's like $2.99, $3.99 totally worth it, get it if you're going to flash a lot of ROMs basically what the pro version allows you to do is um, when you restore your apps um, you can do it in one click instead of if you have the free version you have to actually click every time which sucks, I highly recommend you get it um, so once you've got titanium backup, uh, open it, and it'll ask you for uh, root access and stuff, and uh, make sure USB debugging is checked on. Um, you can go to do that. You can go to settings, um, developer options. Make sure USB debugging is checked on for um, titanium backup app to work correctly, and also under security, uh, make sure unknown sources is checked on when you restore it. So both both of those things you can just leave it on anyway let's run uh, titanium backup um, go to schedules and simply hit uh, backup all new apps and new versions this will back up all of your apps along with uh, your settings or your data so if let's say you know you have Pandora you've got it all logged in or you got this golf app and it stored all your golf scores it'll, it'll back up all of, all of those stuff so it'll show you that it's running in the background um, you just gotta wait till it uh, finishes backing up. So I've got my SMS text messages backed up and uh, my uh, my apps backed up. Now, how do you back up all your folders and you know all your apps? Um, a good way you can do that is uh, use like an uh, use like a third-party launcher. Um, you you won't be able to use the Sense launcher anymore, but you can do this. Um, go to Apex. Oops. Apex. Um, Apex launcher is my favorite because it's kind of uh, ICS. So let me let me actually show you that too while we're at it. Um, so you can back up everything, but you'll have to start over since um, this launcher will replace the HTC Sense launcher. Um, but you do get. You know, let me put the. You might have to put the phone back there. Um, so let me go find phone, drag it into the menu button. And I don't need this message thing. I can put my Google Voice there instead. So I'm gonna put my Google Voice there instead. Uh, and you can mess around with it, um, but I'm not gonna. So now you have two. Uh, two. You have the choice. You can uh, choose Apex Launcher now as default. I highly recommend actually Apex Launcher. It's a very good launcher. Um, so let me just put some random apps that I use often. YouTube there. Um, I like to have the Play Store out here, not in the folder. 
and uh, I'll put my Gmail here. So let's say I want to back up this uh, particular setting. So all I have to do is really just back up uh, using Titanium backup. And in theory, that this is actually my first time doing. It. In theory, it should actually back up um, um, the data too. So I'm gonna run it again. Back up all new apps. Make sure yes. Now it's backing up my Apex launcher with whatever I had there. Um, so I'm gonna go install a new ROM and then I'll walk you through restoring um, the stuff you just backed up. So we've covered pretty much SMS, text messages, uh, your apps with data, and also if you're uh, to back up all your stuff, you know, you'll, you'll need to um, use a third third party launcher. You can use like a Go Launcher EX also, which is great too. Um, so let me go install a new ROM and uh, we'll be back after I install a new ROM. I'll be back. See y'all later. Hi folks, so I've got a new ROM installed. This is uh, called the Bindroid ROM. Um, so connect it to the internet and open up uh, Play Store and go download all those apps again. The Titanium Backup app and the SMS Text Message app. So I'm gonna, this one's installed um, already on this song. So I just need to get the Pro Key. Highly recommend the Pro Key, it makes everything easier. Otherwise you have to click, click, click. It's a pain. And uh, let's get the SMS back up. And it's gonna ask you for a root, so make sure you click that. Um, let me install SMS backup and restore the same app, or you can use your favorite SMS backup app. Restore coin, yes. Um, next, um, make sure under settings for titanium backup, you want to have um, the ADB debugging on under developer options. USB debugging, okay. And then go back to um, security. Um, make sure unknown, so unknown sources checked on. Hit OK. All right, and now let's let's use the SMS text backup app, and just simply hit restore, and it'll show you it's it's under the directory SMS backup restore folder. So you can always back that folder up to, into your um, computer, and even restore it to another Android phone if you wanted to. So I'm gonna click OK. It's gonna you can choose restore all messages or whatever. I'm just going to restore all my messages. All right, so I had one message um, because I don't actually use um, the messaging feature. So there you go. I got my spam back on there. Um, I'll probably erase it after this video. And then let me open up Titanium backup and go through all this beginning stuff. Now, if you get that error, since I did it again, um, just close it and then run it again. Uh, close that titanium back up and run it again. Make sure you don't get any errors when you restore it. Otherwise, there you go. Now it's getting no errors. Um, hit the menu button. Um, for this ROM, it's actually the that button is menu button, but you should have a little thing you can press. And hit batch and go down to restore. And you have all these options, but um, you can just do the first one, restore missing apps with data. That's probably the best one. And you can also choose which one you don't want to restore. I don't need actually radio for YouTube. Um, but we'll restore everything that I had before. And that's how you do it. Um, and also the reason why you back up ROMs is that um, if something goes wrong with this, you have another backup. Backing up the ROM backs up all your apps, everything. Um, but you can you no you can't restore it individually. I think there is a way, but it's kind of funky. I wouldn't recommend it. That's why I don't have a video about it. So it's restoring. Um, if you have if you don't have the pro version, you have to do that manually and hit it. If you don't have that many apps, that's fine. Um, but if you don't, that's gonna suck. So I'm gonna now my Apex launcher is back. I'm gonna choose that as default, and theoretically we should have everything back. So there you go. I've got my YouTube back, the things I put on there, and the Play Store. Um, so I've got that back. I got all my apps back. The only thing now I'm missing is my background and stuff, but I can always just go and install it. Um, so that looks pretty flawless. Anyway, that's how you um, back up, um, back up 
your apps, your SMS text messages, and also your uh, desktop if you use a third party launcher like I did. Um, this will work on any Android phone. Um, so I'm going to actually title this video um, how to back up stuff. But you will have to have a rooted phone. Um, and you can do this on any Android device. Anyway, thanks you guys. Um, if you have an HTC One X, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at onexroot.com where I update you once or twice a week uh, with hacks, tips, ROM of the week, and more. And I don't uh, bug you, and uh, um, it's just for you and me. I don't share your email with anyone else. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button here. Thanks a lot if you have. And share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And folks, stay high on Android. And uh, I've got more ROM reviews coming today. Yeah. All right. See y'all later.